My name is Ryan Jacobson, and I'm the Worldwide Product Marketing Manager, uh, Gaming, DRAM, and Storage. So overclocking memory, you're really speeding up the clock cycle, and really what that does is increase data rates back and forth. We're gonna super cool it, increase the transfer rates, increase the buses, and really see what we can squeeze out of the DRAM. So you're really getting a great speed boost in any kind of application. It's just overall better performance. We're able to really work with our vendors, these board partners, and just tweak things. So we can take what we learn, apply it within their BIOS, and, and make it applicable to the end user. The improvements for end users goes back to that XMP profile you may use in gaming. Uh, we're able to streamline everything between the board. You can apply it and realize some of these speed benefits that we've uh, achieved with the overclock. We've seen some studies where frame rate's a big deal, uh, 144 hertz on a monitor is a big deal. It all plays a role into making that experience better. Nice, smooth gameplay, and you know the, the pros are up there uh, in 144 hertz plus range. It does make a difference. Faster rendering, you know, you're crunching numbers, polygon count, and all that, all that stuff. So it, it's all ap applicable. You're speeding up the entire system anytime you're overclocking. Don't be fearful of building your own PC. There's a lot of good tutorials out there, a lot of good product out there. If you're looking to get into a gaming PC or a really nice rendering PC, you know, give it a whirl. Try to build it yourself.